Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for another walk around video. Today we're taking a closer look at this Agar Black ST Line Fiesta. But before we get started, if you are enjoying our content, why don't you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you did have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. This here is an Agar Black Ford Fiesta ST Line featuring the 1 litre EcoBoost engine producing 100 PS of power and that 100 PS of power is transmitted through a gorgeous six speed manual gearbox. We are registered on a 70 registration meaning we'll take Ford warranty with us until December 2023. The vehicle itself is extremely low mileage only done just over 2,000 miles in this one so uh, we'll get the exact number once we're on the dash at a moment. So to sit pretty and let me walk you around this lovely little three door ST line Fiesta. We're going to begin at the front. I'm going to get the remote central locking out, wake it all up, and uh, make a little disclaimer. The daytime running lights might appear to be flashing in your video simply because of the frequency in which my camera records at. But let me assure you, it's not a strobe light upgrade. That is how they're supposed well in real life they're not flashing but in your camera they might be don't worry about it they're great in real life and that's to give you ultimate visibility no matter what the lighting condition inside there we also have some very high quality headlights and front fog lights just below that the agar black is matched up with some black grill so it's a gloss black grill there and the lower section as well and that continues the theme all the way around so it's quite a charcoal wheels and the black body paint looks lovely together before we look at the wheels, let's talk about some sensors. We've got a sensor there, that's going to be for the automated lights. When it gets dark, the lights are going to come on. And we've got another couple of sensors up there as well, which I shall talk about in more detail in a minute. Coming down to earth, we have 17-inch rock alloy wheels. And they're like a gunmetal grey colour. We also have silver painted brake calipers. And if you didn't know, we have Pilot Sport tyres on here as standard. And only doing 2,000 miles of work, they have plenty of life on those yet. Yeah. So we're going to walk around this Fiesta now and just have a look at the bodywork. So we're going to come to the offside rear of the vehicle and we're going to shimmy the camera all the way down, hopefully showing you just how lovely the bodywork is. Unfortunately it's getting quite dark and grey out here so we haven't got much light to work with. So it's going to be nice and slow like so. And that is the offside rear wheel discs on the rear also for those of you who are interested and again a gorgeous 17 inch alloy wheel coming around the back of this fiesta we have fiesta badging to the left hand side of the boot lid we'll look inside the boot in just a second but with the st line body kit i do like the look of these fiestas we've got the rear diffuser let's call it a diffuser rear diffuser along the rear bumper there and it gives it the sportier intent Okay, so the exact same treatment on the near side of the vehicle now. So we start nice and high up, moving our way down the vehicle. We'll link that round to the near side rear wheel. Again, I love these 17 inch rocker alloys. I think they're very smart. Again, a nice condition Michelin on the near side front. Uh, near side rear, sorry. And again, on the near side front. So that's the body taken care of. It is a 3D off door vehicle, so I shall show you inside the passenger area. And the passenger door, obviously you've got your electric window function, nice ST line badging on the door sill there. It's quite sunny, so you might see that. ST line badging and the ST line interior. So you've got like a, a two-tone, so it's a dark charcoal, got some light, like cross stitching, a chest pattern if you like in the middle and it's all defined by some glorious red stitching all the way around. Two manually controlled seats, so you have the rear tilt adjustment and also the forward and backwards. To gain entry to the rear there's a handle at the top of the seat like so which pulls forward and allows entry into the rear. Whilst we're here we have two ISO fixing seats in the rear of this Fiesta, one on the offside rear and one on the near side rear. So you can clip the kiddie seats in keeping them nice and secure in transit. At the bottom in the uh, little cup holder bit there is also a USB for the rear passengers to keep their mobiles and other devices nice and charged up on your longer journeys. There you go, sorry it's hard to do that catch with one hand. So that's inside the rear, close it up now and we'll have a look inside the boot. So Fiestas are often uh, given a bit of a stick actually 
not having much space. I disagree. I believe these vehicles should be a bit of a TARDIS. Um, you've got a very large rear boot section, big enough for all of your everyday exercise. I mean, if you're carrying around. If you're a taxi driver, for example, might not be the best option. But for the regular everyday folk, this is substantial enough to get everything you need in. Underneath there, we have got room for a spare wheel if required, but it does come with a tie sealant kit and compressor as standard. But again, you've got a very large volume boot there. A couple of dogs, not a problem. Suitcases, I reckon if you've got a baby lion, only a baby, can't be too big, across there, not a problem whatsoever. So that's inside the boot of this lovely Fiesta. Bosh. So let's have a look inside the driver's area now. So we'll open up the driver's door. On the driver's door card, two electric windows and mirror controls. And just above it is your handle with your interior locking. Spin this around once more. We can have a look at the driver's seat. Again, that lovely cross stitch pattern, dark charcoal, and nice red stitching all the way around. Bottom left of your screen, we have the adjustment for the rear tilt. We have a height adjustment, and there's a forward and backwards handle on the front of the seat, like so. I'm going to jump inside the vehicle. You can hear a bit of distortion on the microphone, so just bear with me for a second. Now we're inside the vehicle. Foot depressed on the clutch. The light goes green on the engine start-stop button. One click on that, and that will turn the engine on. Okay, to begin with, we're gonna dissect the screen ahead of us. So let's begin with the left-hand side of the screen. We have the traditional RPM times 1000. At the bottom, we have a coolant temperature sensor and a fuel gauge. And to the right-hand side, an analog speedo with kilometers an hour in the middle and miles per hour on the outside. In the middle, we have a digital driver display that can be controlled using the arrows on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. So if we were to look in that in more detail, just zoom in quickly. Uh, okay, so the exact mileage is 2,230.6 miles. On that screen, you also have the ambient air temperature. We have a few uh, driver assistants in here, such as lane keep system and hill start assist. Come out of there once again, we can go down. We've got a navigation page, we have an audio page, a phone, and back into settings where you can adjust things such as your driver assistance and you can. Yeah, all the other goodies. So a really nice interactive driver display ahead of you. If I was to zoom out quickly and just show you around the steering wheel, the left hand side is where you'll find your cruise control and speed limiter. So it's nice and easy to adjust your speed, reset it, cancel. Um, yeah, so you have vo um, uh, volume down, volume up and a mute button. On the right hand side again, that's where I was controlling all of the screen ahead of me. We have a voice command button. We also have the pickup and decline and previous and next song function. For those of you interested, all of the wipers on the right hand stalk there, including the rear wiper. We have intermittent and different frequencies of intermittent wash wipe. And we have the lane assist on the end of the uh, indicator stalk. So you can turn it on and off very easily. So that's the steering wheel and the driver display taken care of. It's going to shimmy down to the left hand side again. So, this is a Sync 3 module. Uh, we've got the white band at the bottom, so it's a Sync 3 module, and we've got audio. Oh, I'll turn that down. So, all the classics DAB, FM, Bluetooth audio, and also AM as well. Um, the screen is supportive of Apple CarPlay, so you can plug your iPhone in and take advantage of all the apps on your phone onto this screen here. So this Fiesta does come with a really good sync navigation as standard. Um, I've used this for the last four years of my life, never let me down once. Uh, but if you, for example, need to pop something in, go to the search bar. Uh, Charlie, Mike, if you want to come to Perkins, that is 776 Sierra Alpha, see how responsive that is. Click search and that will navigate you a route to Perkins. I'm already here, so I'm not going to start it because it'll start shouting at me. But uh, if you did have an iPhone, you're not just restricted to your uh, forward navigation. You can use your Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, anything you like on that screen. So that's a bit about the sync module. Uh, if I was to come down from there, we do also have a sound button here. So you can adjust your sound to your preferences. So, you know, up the bass. Why not? So a nice screen, nice user-friendly screen. 
and it's a very nice place to be this fiesta i'm just going to mention it as well i'm a big fan of the black headlining it makes it a real uh real i don't know just a nice place to be it feels like all compact the seat's very comfortable yeah a winner for me coming down we can talk about the heating ventilation and air conditioning controls so you have fan speed to the left hand side temperature to the right hand side along with max air conditioning or max demist the classic ford electronically heated front screen on and off function rear demist different flows events in the middle there recirculation and air conditioning i mentioned earlier we have a six speed manual gearbox and that is the shifter for it or gear stick if you like nice positive feeling flicking through the gearbox either side we have a 12 volt socket and a usb port just behind that is a parade of buttons with a button there to turn it into eco mode so more a fuel efficient drive mode traction control off and an auto stop start function briefly that is a, me about done i hope you found this useful if you require any more information please do give us a call 01376 550 899 if not please leave the comment in the comment section below after subscribing thanks very much and i'll speak to you very soon